allow your feelings to be your guide. Another important premise that is valuable to remember is that you are a physical extension of source energy and that an eternal stream of source energy flows to you and through you and that it is you. This stream flowed before the physical being that you know as you was born and it will continue to flow once the physical being that you know as you experiences what you call death. Every living thing, animal, human, or plant experiences that which is called death, with no exception. Spirit, which is who we really are, is eternal. So what death must be is but a changing of the perspective of that eternal spirit. If you are standing in your physical body and consciously connected to that spirit, then you are eternal in nature and you need never fear any endedness because from that perspective there is none you will never cease to be for you are eternal consciousness your emotions let you know how much source energy you are summoning in this moment by virtue of the desire you hold in this moment they also let you know whether your preponderance of thoughts on the subject matches your desire or matches the absence of your desire. For example, a feeling of passion or enthusiasm indicates that there is a very strong desire focused in the moment. A feeling of rage or revenge also indicates that there is a very strong desire. However, a feeling of a lethargy or boredom indicates very little focused desire in the moment. When you are really, really want something and you think about your desire and feeling pleasure from the thought, your thought vibration is now in alignment with your desire. And the current from your source is flowing through you towards your intended desire with no restriction or resistance. We call that allowing. But when you really, really want something and you're feeling anger or fear or disappointment, that means you are focused upon the opposite of your desire. And in doing so, you are introducing another non-matching vibration to the mix. And the degree of negative emotion that you are now experiencing indicates the degree of your resistance to your receiving of your desire. Learn to pay attention to your feelings. When emotions are strong, whether they feel good or feel bad, your desire is strong. When emotions are weak, your desire is not so strong. When emotions feel good, whether they are strong or weak, you are allowing the fulfillment of your desire. When emotions feel bad, whether they are strong or weak, you are in the state of disallowing the fulfillment of your desire. Your emotions are absolute indicators of your vibrational content. Therefore, they are perfect reflection of your current point of attraction. They help you know in any moment whether or not you are currently allowing the fulfillment of your desire. You may believe that you cannot control your emotions, or you may believe that you should control your emotions, but we would like you to approach your emotions in a different way. It is our encouragement that you pay attention to how you feel and allow your emotions to be the valuable indicators they are. An empty feeling is telling you something important. When the field gauge on your vehicle indicates that the tank is empty, you do not criticize the indicator. You receive the information that it has offered you and you do something about adding more fuel to your tank. Similarly, a negative feeling is an indicator that your choice of thoughts has you offering a vibration that is so out of harmony with your source energy that you are currently disallowing your full connection to that energy stream. You could say your tank is approaching empty. Your emotions do not create 
but they do indicate what you are currently attracting. If your emotions are helping you know that your choice of thoughts is not taking you in the direction of that you desire to go, then do something about that. Replenish your connection by choosing better feeling thoughts. Follow your bliss is a positive thought, is it not? As we've touched on previously, much has been written about the power of positive thoughts, and we are certainly proponents of that. No better guidance has ever been offered to our physical friends than the words, follow your bliss. For in the steady reaching for bliss, you must surely align with the energy of your source, and in that constant alignment, your well-being is certain. But when you find yourself engulfed in circumstances that cause you to offer a vibration that is far from that bliss, then reaching for bliss is an impossible thing, for the law of attraction does not allow you to make that vibrational jump any more than you could have tuned your radio receiver to 101 FM and heard a song that was being played on 630 FM. You have the ability to direct your own thoughts. You have the ability to direct your own thoughts. You have the option of observing things as they are or of imagining them as you want them to be. And whichever option you choose, whether you are imagining or observing, is equally powerful. You have the option of remembering something as it actually occurred or imagining it as you would prefer. You have the option of remembering something that pleased you or remembering something that did not please you. You have the option of anticipating something you want or anticipating something you do not want. In every case, your thoughts produce a vibration within you that equals your point of attraction. And then circumstances and events line up to match the vibrations that you have offered. You have the ability to place your attention wherever you decide. So it is possible to distract yourself from something unwanted and put your attention upon something wanted. But when a vibration within you is one you have practiced a great deal, the tendency is to continue to offer the vibration in the way you have been practicing it, no matter how much you wish to be different. It is not a difficult thing to change the pattern of your vibration especially when you understand that you can do it a little bit at a time. Once you have understanding of how vibrations work, how they affect your experience, and most important, what your emotions are telling you about your vibrations, now you can make steady, fast progress toward the achievement of anything that you desire. If we were standing in your physical shoes, it is not your job to make something happen. Universe's forces are in place for all of that. Your work is to simply determine what you want. Your constant list of preferences. So your life experience helps you determine at both conscious and unconscious levels what you prefer and how life from your personal and important perspective could now be better in every conscious or unconscious offering or asking from you is an answer by source. When you have lived an experience that helps you understand in an exaggerated way the very thing you do not want, you also understand in an exaggerated way what you do want. But when you are painfully aware of what you do not want, You are not in alignment with what you do want. When you desire something that you do not believe is possible, you are not in alignment. When there is something that you want and you are feeling unhappy that you do not have it, you are not in alignment. When you see someone who currently has the very thing that you desire and you feel jealous, you are not in alignment. If we were standing in your physical shoes, Our attention would be upon bringing ourselves into alignment with the desires and the preferences that we have launched. We would consciously feel our way into alignment. Your natural desire cannot be held back. 
All of your desires, wants, or preferences emanate from you naturally. And constantly. For you stand at the leading edge of a universe that makes that so. So, you cannot hold your desires back. The eternal nature of this universe insists that your desires come forth. This is the simple basis of this eternally expanding universe. Variety causes contemplation. Contemplation produces preferences. Preference is asking. Asking is always answered. Regarding your creation of your own life experience, there really is only one important question for you to ask. How can I bring myself into vibrational alignment with the desires that my experience has produced? And the answer is simple. Pay attention to the way you feel and deliberately choose thoughts about everything that feel good to you when you think them. <laughs>